This video is about the Weltec 160 MIG Arc and Lift Arc TIG. We have a switch on the front which we can put into the arc mode and we can set our electrode and earth lead in and we can do arc welding. We can set it up as a MIG welder. This particular machine will do gas shielded wire as well as it will do gas this wire. And with the buying of an optional TIG torch you can do lift arc DC TIG which will allow you to TIG weld stainless steel, mild steel and chrome molly. The normal function of this machine is in the MIG mode. We have two LED lights here, one shows the voltage and one shows the amperage. When you're setting up the machine the LEDs will show zero. This is absolutely correct. They are called real-time meters. When you are welding it will show the voltage that you're using at the top and the amperage that the machine is producing at the bottom. The 160 Weltec has a MIG torch which is 2.6 meters long and is permanently connected to the machine itself. This has some advantages in cost and practical use. Now we're going to talk about we're in the MIG mode. Our LEDs are both set at zero. I'm using gasless wire. We'll put this little lead in here. And when we're using solid wire, we'll take that and put that in there and we'll put the earth in whichever one is vacant for us. We set the switch to the mix this little uh, here and now we can control our voltage with this one here. The higher the knob, the higher the voltage we get, the more energy we get into the workplace. This one here is our wire speed. The more we turn this, the faster the wire is going to come out and we need to match the right amount of feed for the right amount of voltage. A good starting point is if we set that up at 4 and we set that up at 5 we can work up and down from there and we will increase or decrease the wire speed until we get the sound that is correct. When fitting the TIG torch which is an optional extra you have to get a special torch it has to have the right fitting on the end and the right fitting to fit the regulator so when putting the TIG torch in we connect it into there and we connect the tick torch into there and our hose goes up to our regulator which you'll have to also make sure you have available to you and that will screw onto the thing and then this will screw onto an argon bottle you must use argon, argon is the only gas that you use for tick welding when sitting up with a tick welder you must remember that a DC tick will not do aluminium so we're looking at chrome molly, stainless steel and mild steel when putting the TIG torch together, we take the back cap off, we screw in our collar, our collar body goes in there like that, we put in our tungsten which we sharpen, so we fit our collar body we fit our tungsten into our collet and we put it into our TIG torch. We put our back cap on, not tightening it all, all the way up at this stage. We put our ceramic on and then we set it to about 8 mm up and we turn the valve on to control our gas and we're ready to set up for TIG welding. 